CustomTacticals.com here and today we're looking at something a little different than the usual knives. Um, I'm going to take a look here at my Max Edition Monsoon Gear Slinger. This is one of uh, a few packs that I carry. Uh, the, the Monsoon Gear Slinger obviously has been reviewed several times on on YouTube and, and mine's just one variation of, of many. Um, as you can see I like I like these patches. I get, a, I, I get quite a few patches and I, I just like to, you know, customize my stuff a little bit, personalize it a little bit. Um, some people might think it's kind of stupid and geeky. I just like to, you know, stick some stuff on there to make it make it my own. Um, I try. I personally try and stay away from using real military patches just because I feel it's disrespectful. So I just kind of use these corny ones. I, I like the stuff from Milspec Monkey. I love his site. I love his videos. He's great. Um, so you know, I've got the Canada one here. Um, on the front here, this this is basically a monsoon gear sling with a few attachments on it. Um, I got the the admin panel up here. Uh, this is actually Milspec Monkey's uh, admin panel. The whole thing is covered with uh, uh, a loop on it, so you can so you can stick all these patches. It's kind of cool. I like to keep a lot of the basic stuff in the front that I access quite a bit. So I got to I got my Spider Codelica and ZDP up here. Little uh, lanyard here to pull it out. I also got a right in the rain notebook, all weather notebook, got a Surefire G2, got several highlighters, and also I have a uh, tactical pen from, uh, I can't remember, uh, Tom Anderson I think makes this, it's got a little glass, carbide glass breaker here, pretty handy pen, it's, you gotta have a pen anyway, so might as well use a tactical pen and then it's kind of dual use, right? So. Got nothing here in the in the map panel. Don't really have a use for this yet. Here I got a couple of these Grimlocks just for you know just to keep it there in case I need to strap something. Uh, they don't take much space and they and they're and they're pretty light, so I don't mind sticking them on there. Um, some other additions I have here. I have one of these waste packs from Expedition. Can't remember what the model of this one is, but uh, I keep a lot of the the less commonly used items here. Um, in front I have a magnesium fire starter. This one is uh, sealed inside inside a waterproof capsule here so you can start it. And uh, of course I have a lanyard on that. I put lanyards on just about everything. Got, and I got a whistle here. In case. More survival stuff here. I don't think I have anything in this. This this pocket's actually a little annoying. The, the zipper for some reason keeps coming undone, so I don't like to put things in there. Here I have uh, some silicone earplugs in case I don't have my my uh, my uh, ear protection with me if I'm going to the range or whatever. Um, I got uh, Tasco mon uh, monocular in here. Got a first aid kit. Got matches. Pen, another pen in case. So a few other things in here. That's about it. So I like to keep sort of a sort of extra stuff in here that I don't use regularly. And then a couple other add-ons here. Um, actually, this isn't normally here. I just stuck it in here because I need somewhere to put it. It's a Black Hawk uh, pistol retention cord. Um, for right now, I just have it here. Don't know when to keep it there. But in front, I got a Maxpedition barnacle. It's a it's a great little pack. I love I love carrying my cell phone in here. I got some lip balm in here. Um, a little Swiss Army knife. Uh, USB. I don't you know? I don't think I have anything in the front. No, nothing in the front. But this one sits sort of high up on the uh, on the chest. Really handy um, for just keeping easy access stuff since it's on the front. And on the side here. I pulled it out just now, but I normally have a Leatherman Skeletool in here, which I actually pulled out just now to use in something and forgot to put it back in. Um, on the other side here I got a, a Spyderco Leaf Storm, which I like to keep in the pack because it's it, I really like this knife. Uh, one of my favorite Spyderco's in a long time. Great lightweight knife, yet very strong and robust. Great knife. Bought two of them so I could carry one and use one. And then... These are actually, just so you know, these are Maxpedition uh, 
a double sheath and a single sheath on the back here so I could fill it out. Um, I just like having these easy access sheets over here. And in the back here I got I got a Phoenix, uh, or sorry, a Nightcore uh, Defender uh, LED flashlight. Great little light. Um, these mag sheaths don't actually fit too much in them, so you can't really fit like a Surefire G2 in here. So that's why I got the Phoenix here. You can get like the 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 flashlight tube ones to fit here, which work really well. But otherwise, this Monsoon Gear Sling is a fantastic bag. It is when you wear it, it is left-handed for all these things here, so you can't grab them with your right hand. Just uh, just so you know, um, which makes it easy to wear like to to cross to wear like a cross um, a crossbody sort of thing over here. So you have some stuff on like my Merce, for example, goes across here, which is from Max Traditional. Review. I got in another review, but uh, that that makes it easy to access stuff on this side. If you're wearing any sort of waist belt, you can keep stuff on your right hand side. So this works well for, for keeping stuff accessible on on your left hand side. If you're if you're a righty or if you're a lefty, um, it's, it's easy accessible for you. Um, what else do I got here? Opens up. Got some gum here. Little Nuco self defense tool here. A long cord hanging out. Got a pencil. I don't think I got much else in here. It's pretty, pretty empty. I like, to, I like to keep, uh, I like to keep pens and pencils here. Um, and here, just quick access to the stuff that I make do. I like to customize my zipper pulls. Um, this one's got a little, uh, little Turk's head knot with a grenade skull. So, and I changed it to an ECU camo. Um, in here, got some junk in here. Got a. Uh, Couple of uh, gloves in case I need gloves. It's quite a bit of stuff in here. I got extra toothbrush. But uh, this is basically this is how I have my uh, Max Solution Mounting Gear Sling set up. So I use this for general carry. Um, I do have a water bottle in here. I fit a uh, one uh, 1.2 liter stainless water bottle in here, or I can go down in size if, if I want to carry a little bit less, but uh, that's how I have my pack configured. It's uh, it's a little bit heavy when it's when it's filled up and can, can, can work quite a bit, can, can feel quite heavy because it's only one shoulder strap, right? So if I'm carrying more stuff, I usually carry my Camelback mother load or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoy the review, just to see what my EDC setup bag is like, and I hope you have a good one.